Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. You can see my phone screen. I'm going to be talking about apps. Apps which you can use to digitise your handwritten notes. Now, I have Fountain Pen Journey, which is my YouTube channel, and I talk about fountain pens and inks and all the rest of it. But these apps and the handwritten notes and the notebooks, notepads that I'll be using and showing you, um, apply to any, any pen. So ballpoint pens, rollable gel pens, whatever you want to write down, even, even if you want to use pencils, you know, in a notebook, there is a way of scanning that writing, drawing, whatever it is, digitally um, using various apps and also notebooks which have companion apps. So I'll be talking about those. Um, I'm talking strictly about the UK and I'm talking strictly about... Um, the notebooks which are available here. Um, I know there are other things. I mean, you can use handwriting tablets and various other bits of note. You can even get notepads which digitise automatically using a specialist pen. I'm not talking about that. This is purely phone apps which you can use to record and scan your notes. Now, obviously, at the end of the day, you could use a scanner, um, photocopier, things like that, but it's not always something you want to do. You, want, you might want to um, record on the fly when you've got your mobile phone with you, which is really useful if you're, um, if you're uh, a spy and you walk into an embassy somewhere, you just happen to want to scan a quick document, get a few names and addresses, things like that. These apps are useful for that, so <laughs> just uh, en enjoy the video. So what I'm going to talk about first, let's show you the... Um, this thing first. Now, this is an Oxford notebook. It's an Oxford campus notebook. This is a new one, which I've just written in for today's purposes. So, these things... Let's move out some of this stuff out of the way. So, these things, campus notebooks from Oxford, they're really widely available. They're really cheap. You can buy a pack of five for very little money. And comes with this thing scan your notes with our free scribzy app and it's available on android and uh, ios in the uh, google play store or whatever the, the uh, iphone app, um, app store equivalent is and you can write in whatever you want and it's got these pages which tear out really really easily really nicely no issues with that and perforated down the side you've also got four holes punched along here which is really really good now i'm going to do a little bit of tapping on the uh oops get the camera back right okay you see these page markers up here now the scribzy app scans for these things down in each corner up in each corner of the uh, of the page We'll talk about this in a bit more detail when we actually use the app. But I find that this Oxford uh, notebook paper is really, really smooth. It's great for writing with fountain pens on. Fine nibs write with a true fine line. So no issues with that. Don't ever seem to get any bleed through, no ghosting, none of that with fountain pens. Um... And it's really smooth and nice, good fountain pen friendly paper. However, the dry times with um, fountain pen inks are really, really long. So if you write half a page of stuff, you're going to have to leave it quite a lot. When I say a long time, maybe a couple of minutes before you turn the page and write on this side. Because if you start writing and you move the paper around like this, you're going to smear all your ink. So it's not great because of these long dry times. And I'm not a huge fan of it. It's it's good, but it's not brilliant. So let's talk about the Scribzy app that goes with these notebooks. And they are available with different covers, colour covers. So here's the Scribzy app. Now the Scribzy app requires you to create an account and you upload all of your documents to the Scribzy cloud. So you can think about security from that point of view. It might not be something that uh, you want to tie yourself into. But from my point of view, this is a really good app. Um, 
it was really hit and miss when I first tried it and it was a waste of time but it's improved immensely over the last few months and it works really quite well so what do you do well I'll show you just tap on scan there and it's all automatic it's really really handy because it's it's so quick and it scans for the page markers let me just move the camera around there we go, scan, no, get rid of that, yeah, 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 I don't need any help to scan the notes, but that's what it tells you, so I mean, it, it is very automated, try again, there we go, processing image, it's found the markers, the orange box shows you exactly where um, it's scanned, now if you notice, if you Look at the um, the writing on this page here. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog in green. Just below that, in the margin, I've written margins. Now, see where that red or orange line is? That will truncate anything outside of those page markers, which is a real downside of this um, this note no, note paper and this notebook because it really really restricts the writing that you've got on the page where you can write so anything in your margins just disappears so if you put c note one two three four you might only see part of that in the margin which is really really annoying anyway so that has scanned the image i'll just click on ok and that shows pending with the swirly cogs which is now ready so if i go on to this Click on that, and it scanned it. And the colours are reasonably good, but it's a good, clear image. Really, really, really good quality. So I'm very, very happy with the Scribsy app, with the notebooks from Oxford, because together they work quite well. And if I um, click on there, move to Ink Notes. So it's filed in Ink Notes. It's all there. So if I then go to my notes in the app, I can access my ink notes. And if I tick on Diatrementis Midnight Blue, there is my ink note, which I have scanned. And you can zoom in and see. Now, it's good because this is very much text based. So your contrast is excellent. Your colours, not necessarily so. So let's have another let's have a look at well waterman tender purple now i think that that has struggled with it you don't get the foot i mean this that little scribble there is not what i see waterman tender purple as so be, bear that in mind your your actual handwritten notes it'll define between the difference between blue black red and green but you're not going to get you know color perfect notes but that's the scribsy app and it's really good it's unlimited storage but of course you have to buy the oxford notebooks to use with the apps they are available in different sizes other than a4 um but you're kind of tying yourself in there but it, i really like it and i think for the price of the notebooks it works well it's inexpensive so that's a winner from my point of view so what else is that well I came across this thing called New Notes. You'll see it down there. Now, New Notes, I'll just go back to the camera to show you what the New Notes notepads are like. Here's a little pocket one. comes with an elastic closure. So, there it is, New Notebook. And here's a slightly bigger one. They are available in different colours, but... It's unremarkable. You've just got a cardboard rough sort of cover on here and lots and lots of pages with ring bound so you can tear those out. They are very much disposable notebooks. Um, pop this open. I've written down some things for us to have a look at and scan. And helpfully inside there, you do get a QR code which tells you, uh, which directs you to your relevant app store. And you can then see these things. Now, new notes. Let's go back to... Well, no. Oh, first off, before, oops, sorry. Banging the camera all over the place. 
I will say this paper in these new notes, notebooks, is not great for fountain pens. You do get quite a bit of feathering. It's a little bit, little bit rough um, and absorbent, so not the best for fountain pens. They are very widely available, though. I mean, you can buy these in the corner shop round the corner from where I live. I mean, they are everywhere at the moment, which is, you know, it's quite good to be uh, to be able to buy them everywhere. So let's have a look at the new notes app, which is yet again a companion app for use with the new notes things so you do have to create an account now what i've done is create you have to create a um these notepads they call them pads my pads if you click on these i have scanned in a thing so what i'm going to do is add another Thing. Now you can choose to put anything in there, photos from your gallery, add a text page, all sorts of things. So I will click on take a photo and we will see how this works. So move that out of the way. As you can see, no automatic anything. You're literally taking a photo. So if I do that, yeah. It's done a good enough job, it's very quick. Hit the tick. And now, you're given the option to crop. Now this is a bit annoying because this will save a defined size into your notebook. Now as you can see, this is truncating some of the text. It's almost all in there. So I'm going to click crop. And there you go. So it, it's it's added that. So click the tick, and that has now. Uh, I'll just save this with a number. Yep, save. There we go. Page is being created. This is now uploading to the cloud, and it's in there. So you can flick through, which is a nice little animated thing for the app. I think it's it's quite uh, it's quite nice to uh to have that animation maybe not the fastest thing if you're flicking through lots and lots of notes but it it works it's good so it's quite good to see that the new notes app works well and it will work with any paper you don't have to buy the new notes notebooks for it to work so i shall give you an example of that and go back to take a photo here we go, our old friend, the no Oxford Notebook. There we go, tick. Now, you can see this isn't the best for cropping, but there we go, you've got a default size. If you try cropping it, it just blows up. It's it it's messy. It is not... It's, it's not the most user-friendly system to use. But, if we... Carefully drag that. We can actually get the margins in here at the left. So if I click crop, there we go. It's going to save that as another page. Save. Page is being created. That is being added to the notebook, my untitled notebook. And there we go. You can see it. So it's kind of producing pages in this notebook, which is more like just standard photos. So it's 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 a little bit rudimentary. It's it's not polished at all like the Oxford Notebook Scribsy app. So on to my personal favourite. Now this is Microsoft Office Lens, right in the middle here. Now this works an absolute dream. This is great because this orange page it, it scans. I mean you can use flash if you need to just click on flash flash on you can turn it off things like that but it is great because this is going to scan for the best thing so you can filter if you want to and i find the office lens is great because i mean th this you can see you can retitle it up here change the name, whatever, you can save it to the gallery. So it saves it to the gallery on your phone. You can convert it to a PDF. No, don't want to do that. 
convert it uploads it to Microsoft OneNote, which is really, really useful with this app. You can save it to your Microsoft OneDrive. You can try to convert it to a Word document through OCR, Optical Character Recognition, or even save it as a PowerPoint template. So there's a whole load of options there. And as you can see, there we go, it's uploaded to OneNote. Click on that, opens up OneNote, and opening link. There we go. So you can see it, and it's it, great. And this Office Lens app works with everything. It works with whiteboards. If you're at an angle to a whiteboard in a meeting and you use Office Lens, it'll straighten everything up. So it's really, really good. It, it's, it's a fantastic app for digitizing handwritten notes. I really, really like um, Office Lens. It's just such a, um, such a great thing. I mean, it go to something like this little notebook here from New Notes. I mean, it, it, it just finds everything. There we go. I mean, it, I must admit that, no, that's a bit rubbish because it was shaking. Discard that. Try again. And it's not going to like the header, but it is going to go for everything lower down. So, DOM. Save it. There we go. It's open. Open this. Come on. There we go. So, I mean, it, it, it can do the basics like that. But if I show you this one, go back to Office Lens, because it's there. Right. So this bigger version of New Notes, this is going to... Let's get all the stuff we don't want out of the way. There we go, the, off the orange lines have saved that, and it's done a really clear image, which we can now see in OneNote. And it's all very quick, really, really quick. Uploads it to the cloud, and there we go. Perfectly readable, digitised notes. So those are the main apps that I sort of wanting to talk about. I mean, there are other apps available. I mean, you can get things like this, mobile dock scanner. It's not a go-to app for me. It's not something that I'd use. It just saves them as images. I mean, in um, Google Photos, you can do all sorts of things. With Google Photos, you can sa scan that you, you can basically take a photo but it, it's messy so my go-to apps are pretty much just scribsy and office lens new notes is it's it's okay but it's, it's not the ones that i use because it's not as good as the other two scribsy ties you into the oxford notebook um ecosystem office lens works on anything anything written down anything typed down you know if you want to be you know, going around a museum and there's an information board of some subject that you're really interested in, Office Lens will save all that information into a really good readable format. Now, Dropbox. This, amazingly, also now comes with um, the... Uh, where is it? There we go. No. Scan document. Here we go. And as you can see, that does a really, really quick job of finding the edges of the paper. But the focus is rubbish. You have to... I mean, it's... it's can you see how this is really struggling with what part of the page it should be looking at? And this is why I don't use Dropbox. Not a good system. It works sometimes, but it's not great. You can also do it through Evernote. But quite honestly... If you say, I want to digitise my handwritten notes, I'm always going to point you in the direction of Microsoft Office Lens because it is just such a great app. It does such a good job. It's reliable. You can save things automatically to the cloud in various locations. 
and it works fantastically so i hope you found that this uh, this little video about mobile phone apps and scanning your handwritten notes was useful it was something that i've toyed around with for many months now and i've really kind of just got to the point where i thought oh, no wrong folder uh office lens and scribsy are the only two that i'd ever really use because they're so well certainly the office lens is so adaptable scribsy just happens to be really really good um with the oxford notebooks but office lens for absolutely everything else so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye